Hello, my name is Angel Camacho. I am the technical marketing manager for Solaris. What I have here for you today is a small demonstration with a presentation on how to move a Solaris 8 machine inside of a container running inside of a Solaris 10 machine. Okay. Later on, you can give it a try, follow the pointers, and give us feedback. So let me start with the slides and uh, telling you what are the requirements for moving a Solaris 8 machine into your new Solaris 10 environment. First, you will need to create um, an image of your Solaris 8 machine. Usually, or what I usually uh, do is create a flash archive using uh, flar create. I will show you the commands in a second. Then uh, you have to apply certain patches to your Solaris 10 machine just to be sure that everything is in place. And uh, then, of course, you will need to install the Solaris uh, 8 container software. I'm going to give you pointers for everything. Now, um, when, you, uh, when you follow the process, uh, you will see um, that you have to do uh, about 10 steps just to make this happen. We are going to make it today with a real system. You will see that it takes just about five minutes to move a machine. So first thing, let's say that you are logging inside of a Netra machine. In this case, my machine is a Netra T1. You create a flash archive using the flar create command that I have on the screen. And uh, once you are done creating your, your flash image, you somehow move it inside of your Solar 10 machine. You can use FTP, you can use a copy across the network, you can use um, a, a DVD, whatever you need. Then um, there's some steps that you need to follow inside of your Solar 10 machine. For example, you need to install the, the recommended patch cluster just to be sure that everything is up to, uh, up to date. Install the, the patches belonging to this uh, Solar 8 container software. Then you, of course, install the software that will enable the Solar 8 container. And then you have to go and create a, um, a file system where your new zone, where your new container is going to live. After that, you create your container, then install this flash image that you created from your original server, and then voila, you are running a Solaris 8 machine inside of your Solaris 10 container. These are the pointers. Don't, don't worry, I'm going to show you the, the, the demo. But um, here are some pointers and uh, what to do next. Get the software, get the patches, give it a try, let us know what you need to know. Now, here is the demo. First here, this is the command that I use to create a flash archive. Here I'm going to show that um, I'm running inside of Solar 10 machine. As you can see, this is Spark Enterprise T5120, so we have a lot of threads here. CFS uh, list will show you that uh, right now I'm already running a, a Solar 8 container, but we are going to run a new one. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to create the, the, the space where this uh, new a container is going to live. So I create, instead of zones, my new file system. Done. Because this is um, a file system for a container, we need to change the permissions. Done. Okay? So the next step is just to configure the, the, the container. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ah, wrong command. Okay. First, we don't have a container no, and named a Netra T1, so we create one using the template for Solaris 8 container. In the case, if this is a Solaris 9 container, you can use the template for SunW Solaris 9 container. Okay. I am creating it. First, uh, set uh, the path which is zones netra t1, add our resources. In this case, I am running on a machine um, that has an E1000G0 as a network. I configure the address. I verify the command. Yes, I'm happy. And, oh, exit, yeah. Now let's check that we have our zone there. Okay, so now we have 
Netro T1 as one of our containers. Now let's go and install our machine. Oh, what went wrong? Zone ADM, sorry, not zone config. Okay, so as you can see, we are um, right now running the installation process. It's going to the Flutter archive, getting all those bits and installing it inside of your container. Now it's just a matter of waiting uh, for this process to take place. It will take probably around three to five, to five minutes just to upload all the resources and create your container. What I'm going to do in this uh, other um, terminal is I'm going to prepare my login for my system. So now it's just a matter of waiting, and uh, if you want, we can go and review the next steps. What's next? Get Solaris, remember? Get the Solaris 8 container software. Get the Solaris 9 container software. It's going to be uh, downloadable pretty soon for, from uh, the Salon Download Center. Visit the learning centers. Here's a, a fun place for you to go, sun.com slash solaris slash teach me. Uh, we have a lot of presentations and videos like this one. And, uh, of course, you can see uh, how to do guides. That's a, a fun way to, to get uh, um, your hands on uh, Solaris. And please go and get the latest information from uh, sun.com slash solaris on bigadmin. Okay? Now, let's go and see how are we doing. Okay, it's done. So, as you can see, we finished the installation. It just took us a couple of minutes. And uh, now you have a complete environment of Solaris 10 plus your container running your Solaris 8 machine. So, on um, ADM list. So, as you can see, now we have global Solaris 8 container, who was my previous um, system. Netro T1, which is now installed, is just a matter of booting that container. I'm starting this container for the first time, so it's ready. As, um, now in this one, in this terminal, I can log in to the console, and uh, I am there. As you can see, because this is an unconfigured system, it's asking for these uh, configuration uh, questions. Now, if we go back to this console, we can list all our containers, and now you can see that we have running systems, um, all of these containers. So you see it's very simple, it takes just a few minutes, there's no uh, big magic involved, big uh, fork lifting to move a Solus 8 machine inside of a container uh, running on a solar stand system. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to, uh, that you uh, enjoyed this presentation. Please start playing around, move your applications, let us know what, uh, what is your experience, and hope to see you soon.